good morning and good evening everyone you are here to hear again so today we are with uh, one of the good uh, good topic uh, that is uh, transformer components uh, so we are all know that transformer is a very crucial important component in the in the electrical network and it's the uh, all the associated accessories uh, are very much important for proper functioning of the transformer so i just uh, listed here around uh, 17 different items the list is not uh, ex not the end i mean uh, for small transformer very few components are required for a very big transformer in terms of breathing in terms of uh, kva and voltage if it is a very high then we need many more accessories for uh, proper monitoring and proper safety or protection measurements so that's it uh, based on the rating all the things were decided so here this is the list so here uh, i just segregated in terms of a particular area or application like that so here you can see safety and uh, safety or protection so whenever we are using any device safety is most important so how safely we can use that device that, that makes uh, that is a major thing actually and protection to that device itself and the people who are going to operate the the device so protection also very much important simultaneously monitoring so how efficient the device is how how the device is performing is any problems are there i mean uh, during lifetime say for example the purchase an item say after 5 years or after 1 year after 2 year how how best the device is performing then when compared to the initial day how we can check it whether the device is good condition or bad condition how we can check it so for monitoring the transformer performance transformer uh, parameters and everything we need some monitoring devices so here is the thing guys so we need a uh, bushings and uh, the bushings can be primary primary bushings that is uh, generally most of the times uh, it will be step down transformer say i am assuming like step down transformer so it will be ac bushings secondary bushings that will be lv bushings so why we need bushings so when a whatever the supply is coming from the line so for connecting that uh, the supply to the transformer the winding whatever we have internally we have winding in the transformer for connecting to that we need a uh, we need bushings so how safely we can connect so that the that, that depends on the quality of the bushings the dielectric strength and uh, physical i mean the mechanical strength of this bushing and uh, everything matters here so whenever the, whenever the we connect a we, we connect a electrical network into the transformer so the supply uh, the electric power is uh, electric power will uh, flows into this uh, transformer and then uh, here we have windings in the wind in the transformer so for uh, for using the for using the electricity at lower voltages so for example this is the lower voltage bushings and uh, here to u to v to w to n those are the bushings we have th this is a uh, i i assume like a dyn 11 for example say then as primary is a delta connected and secondary is a star connected and the, the to n is nothing but a neutral terminal so these are the terminal guys so we will discuss more details about uh, bushings in a separate video also yeah so we have sometimes customer will ask for extra neutral also so what they will do is they will simply yet at the terminal inside the transformer itself so these four lines will be going will be running along the along the distribution network one one the neutral bushing will be grounded at the transformer itself so some sometimes extra neutral is required sometimes shield bushing is required for solar applications and some wind applications so they will play the who will place one electrostatic shield in between uh, two windings so this shield we are going to at the so the shield bushing also we need to provide on the top cover and uh, we can get it directly so this is the shield bushing and we need cts phase ct and neutral ct for monitoring how much current is flowing in the bush in, in the transformer or what is the load now we can connect some cts here so that uh, that can be primary cts or secondary cts phase cts we will say and 
neutral CT I also require. For example, here some people will place neutral CT so that they can they can measure the current flowing in the neutral. Generally, current in the neutral is zero. If any current is flowing, means some issue is there, or some unbalance is there. So uh, like that they will treat it. So neutral CT and uh, we have measuring CT and protection CT also. That depends for which purpose we are using. And we have differential protection. So both side we need a CTs. Primary side, say this is the transformer. We need a CTs this side, and we need CTs on other side also. We will just connect uh, those two, and uh, we will give to the one operation coil. So we have one coil here. Whatever uh, the current is, there, the current will flow to the coil. That coil, whenever it is energized, it gives the trip command to the circuit breaker. So whatever uh, circuit breaker you have here for example so this, uh, this it gives this command to the circuit breaker that will be opened so that is about differential protection and we have arcing ons or LAs so on these bushings we have some um, we have we will have arcing ons here so whenever a momentary in any momentary surge or anything happens on the terminal then it will be simply grounded for the momentary time not for continuous momentary time it will be grounded so that the bushings are protected that is one thing and for effective effective directly protection we can go for lightning arrester that is lightning arrester that is nothing but so say they, this is the bushing we have so here we will install this lightning arrester that is also similar to the bushing one end we will ground it to the tank Another end we will connect like this. Okay. So whenever uh, any high voltage, any surge, anything falls on this uh, terminal, if that is uh, beyond the capability of this lightning arrester, then it will act like a ground. So that will be grounded. So that is one, that is another another important of uh, this uh, lightning uh, lightning arresters. And we need some connectors here. So for example whatever the, the overhead lines are there how we can connect to the bushings here at this place we need connectors generally the connectors can be like this for example like this say one connector will come another connector will come it will uh, it will provide some locking it will, it will press together so we need connector here that is a uh, both side primary side and secondary side both side we need connectors that is another operation and and we need sometimes we need lugs Customer don't want to take all these cables, I mean all these uh, the war headlines. Uh, so what they will do is, they will simply hook the cables, cables from here. So number of cables, 1, 2, 3, 3 cables per phase, for example, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So they are running different number of cables from this transformer. So how we will connect cables to this bus bar? So for example, say this is a one bus bar, here we will, we will take some holes and uh, say this is the lug now. So we will insert cable here. So this is the lug now. We will need uh, connectors and sometimes we will need lugs. And sometimes customer will ask for better protection. He will ask for uh, entire cable box on the termination. For example, Entire transformer top to be covered with a cable box. All the terminals to be covered with cable box. So sometimes when box is required on these uh, insulators so that they are protected. Uh, that is one thing. And uh, so these two things we covered. Now earthing lug. So for uh, effective, I mean uh, for uh, earthing the transformer so that any stray, stray currents, any stray voltages they will be grounded. So generally we will provide two, two number of uh, earthing lugs or earth, earth packs on the transformer generally on two corners. For example, this is one corner and another corner can be this one. So on longer side of the tank on two corners generally we will provide it. That is the earth, earthing lugs. Most of the times all the all the joints are with the, all the bolted joints where for example say this is the top cover Top, say this is a top cover this is the tank now so how we will join this top cover and tank we will place one gasket here so all the gasketed joints should be connected with earth strip 
that is another 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 one another uh, component on this so if, if we connect all the things uh, all the gas connected joints with their strip it makes this transformer as a single unity electrically so all points are at same potential i mean the ground potential all the metallic uh, i mean all the metallic or iron items are at uh, ground potential for ensuring that we need this edge strip at all the places we need to con we need to consider these edge strips and we need tap changer also we need tap changer also why we need tap changer for changing the voltages for example for example our c is a so this is one transformer we have 433 volts on one side another side you have 33 kv so if there the grid voltage may not be stable right for example it can vary from for example 32 kv to 34 kv otherwise 31 kv to 35 kv so grid voltage may vary if grid voltage is varying means proportionally generally what happens the secondary voltage also will vary but most of the time this voltage secondary voltage needs to be maintained constant irrespective of primary almost at least some within tolerance we should maintain it then only it will be in good condition so to take care of this we will provide tap changer on the transformer so tap changer on the transformer so the tap changer can be off circuit tap changer we will shut down the transformer we will just change the tap that is the off circuit tap changer another one is a on load tap changer so we don't need to shut down the transformer automatically based on the variations in the load vary variations in the voltage it will adjust the taps that is the on load tap changer there are different types in tank tap changer in tank voltc and external voltc that is just uh, uh, ease of convenience that's it for smaller transformers we can't put a very big external voltc otherwise it will tilt so for those in those cases we can go for uh, in tank voltc so if the tank can be stable that is one thing and uh, another thing is for maintaining in tank voltage we need minimum height of the transformer that also we need to take care yeah so this is about uh, tap changer guys so we will continue remaining the uh, remaining components in the next video thank you thanks for watching stay connected guys